What's up, people? I'm Shaggy, the Opinionated Hippie, and this is my album of the week for the week of September 3rd through, is it the 3rd? No, that's wrong. It's like the 6th. September 6th through September 12th. There we go. Um, and my album this week is um, an album called Lux from a band called Aluk Totolo. Todolo, Totolo, never heard the name pronounced. Totolo, Aluk Totolo. Um, they are a band out of France. They are described themselves as a cult rock, um, doom rock, elements of prog, definitely metal vibes. Um, though not exactly, I guess a cult rock might be a subgenre of metal. Some psych elements, a nice blend of all of those. Um, it's an all instrumental band. They are a power trio. Um, so they play all instrumentals. Doesn't really sound like sort of post metal stuff. Doesn't really sound like explosions of the sky type stuff. It's a very intense, tightly wound, rhythm, rhythmically driven, aggressive, not very comfortable uh, bass and drums, just hitting it hard at all times, kind of making you feel uneasy with what they're doing, but setting up these really just relentless attacks and grooves for the most part. Um, there's six tracks, a couple of them vary. Um, and then there is um, this element of the guitarists were coming in and just pretty much almost doing atmospheric stuff, background noise, playing these really sparse riffs. Every time, every once in a while, whipping out something that technically technically could be called a solo, um, but isn't really a solo. But it's just really, I guess there were prog elements here. Maybe like if you take something like King Crimson's Fracture or parts of the end of Starless or maybe things off other things off red um and you just made them heavier and more assaulting and less forgiving um i think that's what you get musically and it's exhilarating and it's a fantastic listen and i think if you i think if you're a prog fan and you like maybe a little more aggressive energy i don't know why you wouldn't absolutely love this album and love this band I think this is their third or fourth album. They have like EPs and stuff throughout. They don't they don't put out albums very regularly. Um, but it's fantastic. It's six tracks. And listening to this, because it's an instrumental and because the titles are Lux 1, Lux 2, Lux 3, Lux 4, Lux 5, like I have to fill in what's going on. And I've always imagined that this is sort of the a 21st century musical interpretation of the psychological going ons, going ons, goings on of early 20th century French uh, nihilists or nihilists, however you want to say nihilism, nihilism. Um, that it's there, like it's what's going on in their heads. It's that just. There's a lot of anxiety, there's a lot of depression, there's some pretty surrealistic nightmares. Um, and it seems to me like if you were to like read the deepest, darkest, most unsettled writings of 20th century French nihilists, nihilists, um, this would be a good soundtrack to that, or I imagine it would be a soundtrack to that. Um, and each song kind of, I don't know, maybe because I know they're French, I'm just imposing this sort of narrative over the songs. Um, the first song, ominous, uh, you're dealing with somebody who has like some dread in them, some just, they're not feeling the most comfortable about their life. Um, it's almost like a bout of late night depression, but you can't sleep and there's nothing to do. So you're just tossing around in your room and it's just, you're not happy and you just have all these thoughts or not like giving you any space to breathe. It's just this relentless attack. Um, just, it's an absolutely amazing just, drum bass attack with the guitar just like providing noise and providing moody elements and just kind of being all over the place um most of these songs clock in around six minutes uh the song number two which i think is the highlight of the album uh an early sort of peak um is like i think nine minutes it's the longest of them um song number two uh, the first three tracks like flow into each other. The last three flow into each other. Um, they have like, you can tell where the break's coming. Like they'll slow it down and just like a basic drum beat. Then we'll be off into like another song. Um, maybe they all, no, I don't think three flows into four. Um, 
Uh, the second one's a little more aggressive than the first one. And this one seems like you've worked through those sort of late night bout of depression and you've managed to find sleep, but now you're locked into this nightmare that you cannot wake up from. And it, it's deep and it's dark and it's disturbing. Um, this one sounds like they set up like sort of the main, like a jazz format. They set up the head with this just really aggressive, you know, pummeling rhythmic attack. And then it feels like the middle part of this is them just improvising. But it's just like, you know, the improvisation is just a drummer and a basser just play, playing basser and a bass player playing crazy stuff and the guitars adding atmospherics and ripping off these like incredibly distorted, intense, noisy solos. Um, it just is this endless barrage, this endless clash seemingly endless because it feels like a nightmare of just chaotic ideas that are just pummeling your brain and you can't wake up from it and there's like nice little turns every once in a while bass starts to get really more aggressive at the end um we start to get this the end gets a little bit noisy but at the same time it's weird in the very beginning of this the bass is almost like just relentlessly pounding your brain and you're just like oh my gosh it's just like this is nightmarish but it's enthralling and exciting by the end of it as the noise level of the guitar sort of amps up and the drummer starts to let loose and maybe, you know, kind of frays at the edges a little bit, the bass is still holding that same relentless attack. And what is in the beginning, like, uh, becomes comfort because you're like, okay, at least something here is providing some sort of like consistency. It's a consistency that was nightmarish in the beginning, but by the end of it, the rest of your world has fallen apart so much that that, early nightmarish consistency is like the thing you're now like, oh, this is now my teddy bear. Um, it's a great, great, great listen. I think if, I don't know if Lightning Bolt, like Lightning Bolt, some of Lightning Bolt's sort of relentless attacks and how by the end of it, things which bothered you early in a song are like, okay, this is like actually the consistency of this noise is comforting. Kind of reminds me of Lightning Bolt a little bit. Uh, so number two, I think is a peak. Uh, we fight through the depression. We have this hellscape nightmare for like nine plus minutes. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, then I think we wake up in for Lux 3 and it's just a straight anxiety attack for like the, the duration of this song. It's like the guitar is just like, like high picking intensity noise for like the entirety of it. Um, this one at times sounds like Fracture. This is the one that I think has that King uh, Crimson energy, but more intense and more unsettling and more brash and more trying to like really like get something deep and dark within you and stir that up. Um, that's Lux 3, Anxious. Anxious. It's like you almost, the first two songs are pretty, they're great songs, but they're also pretty intense and you're just like, you're intrigued by the relentless, relentlessness of the attack, but at the same time, it's not comforting. By the time you get to track three, you wish you were listening to the first two tracks because track three is just even more like anxiety inducing. Um, track four, faster. We still got this really fast energy that we had in three, but it almost feels positive and optimistic and upbeat and the beginning of it is very playful where we're, we're like there's just like nah, and then they stop and they're back in nah, and then stop and they do that a number of times so there is this more dynamic playful sort of energy about it dare i say melodic and it feels like this is the part where the the nihilists have hope like maybe they're having this conversation that it almost reveals like, hey, maybe maybe there is something we can believe in in the world. And maybe there is something that we can actually put our energy behind. Um, and, it, and the peak of the song almost feels like we're reaching some optimistic conclusion. The bass starts getting a little bit funkier at the end and kind of deviating from its relentless pummeling norm. Um, so Lux 4 is like, all right, maybe there's hope. Maybe the 20th century is not going to be a completely empty hellscape and maybe there is something we can grasp onto um would turn out not to be true um lux five um becomes much more uncomfortable like this hope is dashed um really off kilter rhythm it's really taut it's not you're not meant to find the groove you're meant to always kind of be in on your toes um just not a comfortable thing um it's akin to sort of the, the Lux 3 anxiety attack, but it's just a darker energy. Um, it's almost like we're back into some really, really 
deep, involved, chaotic nightmare. Um, a lot more ominous tones by the guitar player. Even though he's serving up some pretty good ideas, they're all pretty not the most positive ideas. About halfway through, um, there's like this sort of dynamic shifts where we up the intensity and then we bring the intensity back down. Then we up it back up again a couple times towards like the second half of the song. Um, so that, and each of those ups really is just, you're still in this nightmarish hellscape, uh, but it's more intense or less intense. It's not like comforting. It's just maybe a little bit, the intensity dial is turned up and turned down a little bit. Uh, but I think it makes for a more engaging run from start to finish. Um, that'd be Lux 5. And then Lux 6, we really managed to kind of bring it down to like, it's not a ballad by any stretch of the imagination, but there's a lot more space in Lux 6. Um, it's just got a lower energy level, a little bit looser and funkier, a little more dynamic just because there's more space for them to play around in. Um, uh, the guitar is very, very kind of absent early on. And then when it comes in, it just kind of enters the scene as like this alien presence that's like crashing and it's screaming and it's resisting its entrance. Um, but then it doesn't leave. Um, and then it kind of just keeps going on and it, it doesn't feel anxious. It doesn't also feel nightmarish, but there is this sort of like resignation feel like, okay, I'm resigned to whatever my fate is. I'm just going to accept it. Not going to cause any fuss. I'm just, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to sail down the, uh, I don't know how to say the river in Paris, the sign, the Seine, the scene, sail down that river and just go to where I end up. But yeah, that's it. Six absolutely incredible instrumental tracks by this amazing French power trio playing occult rock with elements of prog, doom, um, psych, metal energy, punky at times, tight aggressive rhythms, nice noise and dissonance from the guitar. I absolutely love this. But yeah, that's my album of the week. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Check it out. Check out a song or two. I think it's it's a fantastic, fantastic listen. But that's all I got. Um, would love to know if there's an album that came out this past week that you know about, that you think I should check out. I'm always looking for new music. There was a lot of good albums this past week. Um, a lot of albums dropped, but uh, they haven't released an album in, in years, a Luke Totolu, and their last one was one of my favorites. So I, I, was, I jumped on board this almost immediately. Uh, fantastic. Great band. One of those French bands that just... I don't know what they do in their normal lives, but every once in a while they just drop genius albums. And I think this is a pretty genius album. All right, I'm rambling. That's all I got. Subscribe, like, share, comment, do those things. And uh, check this album out, please. Um, it's on streaming. It's on YouTube. Check it out. And then, and then support the band because they're great. All right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Peace. Talk to you later.